I believe that many people have fantasized about owning a small and agile private aircraft, just like those futuristic gadgets in movies, which can be deployed and used when needed. In fact, similar equipment does exist in reality, and the Soviet Union's X-14D micro-manned aircraft is one of them. The X-14D was not a research project led by the Soviet official department. There was a driver named Viktor Dmitriev who wanted to become a pilot, just like his father, and fly military aircraft. However, he did not receive recognition from aviation school. Dmitriev did not give up on his dream of becoming a pilot. Since he couldn't become a pilot, he decided to design and build his own aircraft to fly. Dmitriev started his aircraft design work in 1968. The aircraft he designed were all light and ultralight aircraft, including a total of 23 different improved models. Among them, the X-14 was the culmination of his work. The X-6 was one of the first aircraft designs. It was a wooden light aircraft with a streamlined appearance and retractable landing gear. It weighed only 250 kilograms. It was these design works that accumulated experience for Dmitriev. The X-14 series aircraft were developed in the 1980s, derived from the previous generation X-12 series aircraft. Speaking of the X-14D ultralight aircraft, the structure of this aircraft is extremely rudimentary. The net weight of the aircraft is only 54 kilograms, and it is constructed with a detachable and foldable structure. The aircraft has a bottom frame similar to a handcart, which is made of thin-walled, chrome-plated steel pipes. The tricycle landing gear is fixed below, and the pilot sits directly above the open frame, with his legs resting on both sides of the front landing gear. Behind him is a 42-horsepower engine that drives a small-sized propeller. The wings on both sides have a certain amount of sweep angle. There are two metal beams inside the wings, connected to the engine metal frame. The wing frame is built with spruce wood, and the surface is covered with 1.5 mm thick nylon fabric as the skin, with some parts using fiberglass. The wing has flaps and ailerons. Four metal pipes extend from the wing root and fuselage frame, converging at the end to install the tail wing and vertical tail. The aircraft's control panel is connected to the vertical tail, tail wing, and other moving parts with steel cables, with a diameter of about 2 mm. As an ultralight aircraft, the X-14D has high requirements for the pilot. Obviously, people who are overweight or too tall cannot fly it. It lacks equipment such as an instrument panel and is only suitable for low-altitude and slow-speed flight. Dmitriev participated in some exhibitions with his aircraft. He also specially made a storage box to store the disassembled wings. Assembling the aircraft is also very convenient. The process only takes about 15 minutes, including taking out the components, securing the bolts, and preparing the engine for flight. Although this ultralight aircraft has impressed some people who have seen it, it has not had a significant impact in the aviation industry itself. From a practical perspective, such aircraft have little use and low practical value. Moreover, the fragile appearance of the aircraft probably worries most people that it cannot withstand the forces and may fall apart. However, the X-14D could potentially apply for a Guinness World Record and become the smallest manned fixed-wing aircraft in history. The X-14D ultralight aircraft weighs 54 kilograms, with a length of 3.13 meters, a height of 1.22 meters, a wingspan of 5 meters, a wing area of 1.76 square meters, and a payload capacity of approximately 80-90 kilograms. The takeoff speed is about 55 kilometers per hour, the flight speed is unknown, and the maximum range is unknown.